Hostinger Web Hosting Review Today I'm going to talk about one of the best hosting company available in the market. My pick today is Hostinger. I will cover about its features, overview, pricing and different plans. I know it's hard for you to choose the best web hosting. What I mean is it provides the best performance but yet affordable at cost. So today I will do in-depth review about Hostinger Web Hosting. Hi and my name is Akmal and I'm from Hosting365. We help you to expand your business and website to the next level. Today I will talk about Hostinger Web Hosting. You can find the links in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Make sure to stick to the video till the end because I will share with you 6 quick checklists on how to choose the best hosting. So without further ado, let's jump in. What is Web Hosting? Web Hosting is an online service that allows you to publish your website files onto the internet. Basically you need web hosting to store your web files and make your website available on the internet. How does web hosting work? Web hosting services work by maintaining stable and secure storage spaces. Web hosts provide data storage, hosts store data on the hardware called web servers, all websites on the internet need web hosting. When someone enters your domain name in a browser, the domain name is translated into the IP address of your website hosting company's computer. There are different types of hosting provided by Hostinger. From the drop down menu, you will be able to see there are shared web hosting, cloud hosting, WordPress hosting, cPanel, VPS hosting, and even Minecraft hosting. Hostinger offers shared web hosting. It means your website lives on a server with other websites. The sites literally share a single server's cost and resources. Resources include CPU, RAM, storage, and bandwidth. Bandwidth is the number of website visits that it can handle. The advantage of it is low cost, but it may slow down your website. Its shared hosting have three different plans, single, premium and business. You can choose to subscribe each plan at different time frames, for example, monthly, yearly, two yearly, or maybe four yearly. A single shared hosting is $9.49 per month. You pay $1.39 only if you subscribe for four years. You can host one website only, get one email account, 100 GB of monthly data transfer, 30 GB of solid trade storage, and roughly 10,000 monthly visitors. However, the premium plan, which is highlighted as the most popular, costs $10.29 per month or $2.59 per month with 4-year commitment. The plan lets you create up to 100 websites and email addresses and offers unlimited monthly data transfer and 100 GB of storage. Premium also comes with a free domain name, free SSL and processing power that can handle roughly 25,000 monthly visitors. The business plan is $15.99 per month or $3.99 per month if subscribed for 4 years. It includes all features in the premium plan, plus daily backups, a free CDN to speed up your site and quadruple the processing power so that your site can handle approximately 100,000 monthly visitors. Why should you choose Hostinger? Let's dive in more about Hostinger features. It is easy to set up, it works on top of Hostinger's very own control panel, Edge Panel, which includes easy auto installations of WordPress. The Edge panel is very similar to what cPanel offers. Frankly, I would say it is very user friendly similar to SiteGround. I've used 5Cloud Host before and the domain registration from other provider is terrible believe me. Also it uses light speed caching to cut delivery time to visitors. Basically it reduces your website static page loading time which is a great feature in my opinion. Next, whether you subscribe single, premium or business plan, you are entitled to get free SSL certificate for your domain. This will help you secure your visitors' data when they visit your website. Speed and website performance, according to GT Metrics, it loads between 1.0 to 1.9 seconds, which is super fast compared to other web hostings. Next, we'll take a look at cloud hosting. Cloud hosting is where your website is powered by several different servers. Hostinger has three cloud hosting tiers, Cloud Startup, Cloud Professional, and Google Powered Cloud Global. The entry level tier starts at $29 per month. It comes with 3 GB of RAM, 2 CPU cores, 200 GB of SSD storage or a solid state storage, and unlimited monthly data transfer. 
The middle of the road tier starts at $58 per month, ups the RAM to 6 GBs and storage to 250 GBs. The high end tier starts at $99.99 per month, features 16 GBs of RAM and 300 GBs of storage. Hosting and Cloud's plans all come with a dedicated IP address, a free SSL certificate, and a 300 site capacity. Two yearly and four yearly plans are also available for these plans too. Hostinger also provides VPS or virtual private server hosting. A VPS hosting is faster than shared hosting because your visitors do not have to queue up with other sites visitors to access yours. Compared to shared hosting, VPS hostings give your website additional server resources to work with as there are few websites on the server. Hostinger has 6 Linux based VPS plans. The entry level Linux tier has 1 GB of RAM, 20 GB of storage and 1000 GB of monthly data transfer for $9.95 per month. The top tier Linux VPS include 8 GB of RAM, 160 GB of storage and 8000 of monthly data transfer for $109.99 monthly. Unfortunately, Hostinger no longer offers Windows based VPS plans. Now we should talk about shared hosting versus WordPress hosting. Shared hosting is just a type of hosting plan where your site shares resources with other sites on the same server. Managed WordPress hosting is a set of added services and performance tweaks that sits on top of regular hosting. WordPress hosting providers may also use shared servers but those servers are dedicated only to sites running WordPress and they're optimized to support its latest updates and features. Your site will load faster on managed WordPress hosting than it will on shared hosting. Hostinger has four WordPress plans, Starter and Business and Pro. Hostinger WordPress and shared hosting plans share some names, but they offer different specs. The single plan $7.99 month to month supports a single website for 10,000 monthly visitors with one email account and 30 GBs of SSD storage. The starter plan $14.99 per month includes support for 100 websites and 100 GBs of storage, the Jetpack plugin for free and unlimited monthly data. Business costs you around $15.99 per month and has 200 GBs of storage and daily backups. Finally, the Pro Plan $29 per month tops them all with support of 300 websites, 200,000 monthly visitors and a Jetpack personal. Now let me mention some of the good things which Hostinger provides you as a customer which really matters. First of all, the customer support is excellent. You can contact them on 24-7 basis. It is just a lack of phone support. You can reach them by chat or email. Hostinger plans come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Now, I will share you six factors that you should consider when choosing a web host. First of all, server resources. Storage, solid-state drive versus a hard drive. A bandwidth unlimited versus limited, 1 GB RAM versus 8 GB RAM server location. To check if a web host offers one or several server locations, for example if your primary audience is based in Australia, then it makes sense to choose a data center located in Australia or nearby, so that your web pages load faster. If you can select a server location, then you definitely need a content delivery network or a CDN to speed up your page load. Caching. You'll always be needing caching either at the server level or with a plugin as it helps your web pages load much faster and improves your visitor experience at your website. Some web hosts include caching at the server level, which usually means you don't need to add any caching plugin. SSL certificate support. Google recommends every website to have SSL certificate to protect your visitors data and hence increase their reassurance to visit your website. Productivity. Some of us are not tech savvy. While embarking into 2022, mastering digital marketing is important. The beginners definitely would look into user-friendly application to use. Last but not least, pricing. Prices range from $5 per month for shared to $15 per month for VPS and 
199 month for dedicated hosting so look for a web host that offers the best value for your money so yeah guys i think that pretty much wraps it up for this video and hey this is not the end yet we are just started and uh, this was just an introduction and just like a tip of an iceberg but you know there's a lot more coming and uh, well yeah that is pretty much end of this particular video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my video i could really use it if you're looking for in-depth review for web hosting you can visit my website link could be found in the description so make sure to have a look on that too and again thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video until then peace